it's difficult because, of course, the question of governance itself is 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 a bit of a taboo in artistic practice because there's always this. What I recognize in artistic practice is that there's always a separation between art uh, between uh, politics and the political. And artists and art institution they like the political in the sense of those moments of of uprisings and of revolutions and of street protests and the moment that we see, let's say, also the romantic side, the necessary but also very romantic sides of protest and revolution. And then politics is like the kind of dirty governmental day-to-day -day administrative work. But for me, a well-functioning sewer and a, and a necessary protest, they go hand in hand. You cannot separate politics from the political. So I think if art wants to be socially engaged or wants to think itself in terms of social engagement, it will have to learn a little bit from politics. At least I learned a lot from working with political parties. I think political parties are dysfunctional the way they are now, but the level at which they are capable of thinking structurally about every issue in relationship to something else, never just art, art in relationship to something else, uh, art as a contextual or as a relational practice. This I think is super crucial. And in that sense, I think that if art or a progressive notion of art wants to have a chance, it will have to exist in, or will have to help to build new political coalitions between political parties, between unions, universities, academies, between NGOs, between uh, all kinds of social action groups or non-parliamentary organizations, but it will have to confront both the political and politics. It will have to help to shape it and help to imagine it in order to become part of such a larger political alliance. But I think that only if we are capable of thinking art structurally, you can, you can affect politics structurally. These things go hand in hand. To think art structurally for me means to think, to, to move away from the concept of project to the concept of organization. So project, I think, in itself was already in artistic discourse a kind of liber liberational concept because it was no longer about reducing the work of art into the object itself. The project can be many things. It can be contextual, it can be... But the, but the project is also limited in its nature. You do a project. You don't engage in a project like you engage in an organization. So I think that new generation of artists like Ahmed Ogut with Scient University or Tania Borguera with Immigrant Movement International, even in between ambiguous artistic organizations like uh, Jewish Renaissance Movement by Yael Bartana or uh, Institute for Human Activities, it's a right-wing organization, and some Martins. Uh, I think that these, these are attempts to move away from the concept of project to the concept of organization, which allow to think of the place of art in relationship to politics or social issues on a structural level. The organization can exist also when the author of the organization uh, disappears. And in, a, in an organization, you are more than simply an audience, also as the one, or more than a consumer. You are a member, or you are a representative, or you, are, you engage with an organization different than with a project, or with the artwork as an object. So I think that shift from project to organization allows to think art structurally in relationship to politics.